Thank you for listening to the Business Blast podcast. So for all my listeners out there that have been wanting to do your own podcast, I'd like to introduce to you Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, distributing, and monetizing your podcast. So before I found Anchor, I had never actually done a podcast because all the research that I had uh, gathered made it seem very complex. Then I found Anchor, and Anchor makes podcasting extremely simple. So if you want to do your own podcast, go to anchor.fm forward slash start. I can't wait to hear your podcast. Welcome to the Business Blast Podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. This episode is brought to you by Authors Unite. Authors Unite provides you with the support you need to finish your book. Best part is, after you finish your book, they take care of the entire publishing and marketing process 100% for you. So... If you want to become a successful author, make sure to check out AuthorsUnite.com. Now, let's jump into the episode. All right, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Business Blast podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. Today, I have John D'Amato with us. He is a branded lifestyle portrait photographer and content creation expert who serves speakers, coaches, authors, and photographers to help them create a powerful and authentic online presence. So welcome to the show, man. Thanks for having me, Tyler. Appreciate it. Of course. Grateful to have you here. So the first one I got for you, John, is what is the best story from your life that has an underlying valuable message? What is the best story from my life? Well, I would say quitting my job and having absolutely no plan in place and freaking out and then ultimately deciding on this current niche that I've been working on. It was quite an adventure and it took about two and a half years after I quit my job to finally go from jack of all trades photographer to taking any job I can just to pay the utility bills and the rent to starting to meet the right people and networking in the right places and ultimately finding the person that inspired me to create this niche. And what is the most valuable piece of information we should know that's within your expertise or industry? I would say that the most important thing would be to know that You know, when you present yourself through your social media, it is not just about the vanity. It is not just about how good you look at these photos. It's about how uh, these images visually punctuate the valuable stories that you want to tell about your business and brand. And it goes far beyond just, you know, appearances and the way you look in those photos. And what's your best piece of overall business advice and not necessarily industry specific? Um, don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to ask for help and don't be afraid to allow yourself the space to play and be creative and think beyond where you are today. And if you could give your younger self one piece of advice, what would that be? (laughs) Oh boy. That's a long one. (laughs) We'll make it short and sweet. (laughs) I would I would say the thing that I would say to myself is take it easy on yourself and be more compassionate and more empathetic and give yourself the time to figure out uh, who you are and what's important to you. And don't um, stop talking to yourself like you're not an important person in your own life. And uh, kind of going a little bit down a different path, in your opinion, what is the key to happiness? Having a purpose and meaning and then creating a life that allows you to flourish in all areas of your life, which includes your your business, your family, your, all the relationships you have, your finances, your health, and um, – constant education and focusing on growth in all of those areas. And what is the best book that you've read and what was the number one thing you learned from that? 
Actually, it was pro. I mean, I've read a lot of amazing books, but the one that uh, really started the whole ball rolling towards photography was a Joe McNally book, uh, and it was it wasn't even a conceptual book. It was technique based, and it just absolutely opened my eyes to the possibilities. And um, yeah, that book really has a lot of resonance for me. And what is your favorite quote, and why? I write about how I hate people posting famous quotes and write your own damn quotes. <laughs> <laughs> so if I could be obnoxious and pick something I've said, it's probably um, social media is a long game. And it's because that essentially encapsulates everything that not only am I going through with my own business, but the way that I educate photographers and thought leaders on the uh, expectation level that they should have the moment they embark on uh, developing content to help promote themselves through social and actually all of their online presence. Mm. Yes, man. Well, listen, thank you so much for coming on. The last one I have for you before we let you go is where can our audience best find you online? Sure. Uh, I can be found on Instagram at D'Amato Photo. And of course, always my website, johndamato.com. Perfect. Thanks again for coming on. Thanks for having me, Tyler. Again, appreciate it.